Hi everybody, uh, so here we are, we've got uh, one uh, modified SU30 uh, version 4 from RC Powers uh, ready to slip the surly bonds of earth, so uh, um, you know just a quick uh, wrap up here, um, you know it's an 80, built at uh, 82%, so about a 24 and a half inch uh, wingspan, um, I actually haven't looked, measured how long it is, so let's just see here real quick. It's uh, about 34 and three quarter inches, so about 80, about 88 uh, centimeters long. So uh, I'm not sure how that works out in the uh, you know scale proportions, but anyway, I think it looks pretty looks pretty good. Uh, I went with this paint scheme here. I used this. Uh, on uh, my sort of short-lived uh, modified uh, T50 version 1 uh, where I had done a bunch of modifications that didn't work out all that well. Uh, you know, it's based on the colors of the Indian flag, so I put the Indian uh, Air Force roundels on it. Um, and, you know, since we built this for speed, it's got lots of bright uh, orange on it here, so hopefully it should help my, uh, you know, my poor old 56-year-old Mark 1 eyeglass-assisted eyeballs be able to keep track of it. Um, so yeah, so from the last video, uh, you know, everything uh, went, went together well. Uh, we put the KF-4 uh, airfoils on it, uh, you know, trim, uh, uh, um, beveled those down and got all, that all nicely sanded. Uh, the bottom is all, you know, along these edges here is all uh, nicely sanded. Uh, you can see I bunched my, my um, uh, servos uh, all pretty close to the, to the CG. The CG is is actually just behind uh, the rudder servo here although um, you know based on my previous experience uh, having built and flown a couple of uh, SU-30s uh, you know with the uh, without the canards uh, the the CG will probably end up uh, further ahead so I might actually maiden it uh, just a tiny bit nose heavy based on this uh, CG but we'll uh, we'll see how it goes so uh, we've got, uh, you know, as uh, mentioned, we've got the Emax um, RS2306 uh, motor uh, right now with the 6x3 EMP TGS KMP prop, depending on where you buy it from. Um, Hobby Wing uh, Platinum Pro uh, 40 amp speed controller uh, set up, uh, ready to go. So, uh, you know, I'll maiden it with, uh, on 3S and probably uh, spend, you know, half a dozen flights just getting it trimmed and uh, dialed in with uh, on 3S before I start any uh, 4S uh, speed testing. I've uh, purposely kept the throws uh, relatively low just for now because uh, as I've learned uh, you know with with my 4S testing thus far you know getting used to that uh, blistering speed you know, uh, I really don't want to have uh, too much control throw because I don't want the plane of course everything gets exaggerated as you're going really really fast so uh, I don't want the uh, uh, you know the plane to be too uh, twitchy because uh, you know the old adrenaline's pumping enough already when I'm uh, when I'm flying it. Um, something I wanted to point it out. I pointed out in my last uh, F22 flying video is I've started putting these uh, nylon uh, uh, little nylon washers I just get from the hardware store um, uh, in between the metal motor mount and the the wooden motor mount. What that does is it allows the prop to be uh, about another five to six millimeters further back from the leading edge. What I've noted is the uh, airplanes, uh, the, the prop runs quite a bit quieter and I think a bit more efficiently because there's, uh, you know, it's a little bit further away from the leading edge of the prop. So I've made that modification now to all my uh, planes where I'm running the um, uh, quad racing motors. So that, uh, you know, we'll, we'll go with, uh, with that. And they're, because they're nylon, they don't really add uh, any weight. I did have to go with slightly larger screws. So maybe at the end of the day, that adds a couple of grams of weight. I'm not sure. So weight-wise, I ended up, uh, luckily, I ended up at uh, 530 grams. Um, I can't remember, 18.7 ounces, I believe that is, um, with, uh, with a 2200 uh, 3S battery, um, you know, which is, <clears throat> uh, funnily enough, is actually the same weight as my uh, Mini MiG uh, 35B with the 24 inch wingspan so I'll be interested you know because they're the same weight although this has a slightly uh, larger wingspan so as I mentioned it is a pretty tight fit you know getting the um, getting the battery 
uh, in and out of here. There's, you know, you, I'm going to have to be really, really careful uh, getting the battery in and out because the, you know, the fuselage is so narrow. But I think we'll be able to do it without breaking the uh, the sides there. Um, so, yeah. So that's. Uh, I think if I, like I just mentioned, I think if I went any smaller than it would be, unless I was using really small batteries, it would be a real, uh, uh, a real task to get the batteries in and out of there. So uh, servos, um, it's, you know, the standard setup that I normally have, I'm using 9 gram uh, nylon gear servos from RC Timer um, for my Elevons, 5 gram uh, nylon gear servos again from RC Timer for my uh, ailerons and my uh, <clears throat> rudders, I'll have links to these components uh, down below. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's it's looking good. I'm really uh, really pleased with how it turned out. I you know I think I've got it uh, as light and uh, and as sleek as I can get it, but still you know strong enough that it's going to be able to uh, withstand the speed. Uh, you know once we get cranking it on uh, 4S as we uh, start to experiment with uh, different 4S uh, setups with different motors, different props, uh, hopefully. Uh, but you know initially we already know uh, that this. Uh, uh, Emacs 2306-2750 uh, <clears throat> with the 6x3 EMP prop and the hobby wing uh, is a good uh, 4S uh, combo so uh, so we'll see how that goes so uh, yeah you know everything uh, got everything uh, nicely sanded and uh, tapered and you know was uh, it's, it's you know it is a bit of a work bit of work um, you know but it's one of these things that I I think it's all these little bits and pieces of uh, you know the sanding and the filling and you know really really concentrating on keeping uh, you know the amount of glue uh, uh, you know just to the to the what's absolutely required you know helps to keep the plane light and uh, and good to go and then on the bottom here I just put my standard this is actually just black magic marker um, here and I put that because the magic marker adds uh, adds no weight um, <clears throat> and then I put as I mentioned I put this glue um, here on uh, just on the sort of the front part of the uh, nacelles and here on the nose. Now because I trim these down uh, by about a centimeter I'm not exactly sure if when it comes into land if this nose but it, it, there is the possibility that you know when it lands as it tilts forward the nose could uh, uh, slide along the ground so we want to keep that from getting uh, too badly uh, scrapped up, uh, scra scraped up and uh, the thing with Dollar Tree foam is once they take the paper off, it, it can tear uh, pretty easily because it is, uh, can be a little bit soft. So, what do you want, Bentley? <laughs> Bentley, wants, Bentley wants to get in the picture here. <laughs> so there we go, folks. There's the, um, there's the uh, modified uh, Speed Build RC Powers SU30 version 4 uh, all ready to go. Uh, hopefully, I'll get to maiden it within the next couple of days. Again on uh, 3S, just uh, you know, working out the trims and the balance and all that sort of stuff. And then uh, in the in the coming weeks, uh, we'll we'll really start cranking up some speed here on uh, 4S with this setup and uh, some other setups as I get my five-inch props in the mail from Hobby King and Banggood and start doing some testing with those uh, with this and possibly some uh, some other motors. So. So there we go. Thanks, uh, thanks very much for watching. I hope that some of this stuff, you know, as we've gone along here, has been helpful. Maybe giving you some ideas or uh, thoughts. Uh, you know, if you're looking to build a plane that's, you know, you want to be uh, a little bit faster or even, you know, just uh, more efficient as it goes through the air. Uh, so, uh, blue skies, palm winds to everyone, and uh, park jet noise, the other sound of freedom, eh, buddy? <laughs> he looks really enthused. Okay, take care, everyone. <laughs>